Hi, I'm Mia Malan. I'm the editor of Bekesisa. And in today's podcast, we're going to look at what women know or don't know about their bodies and their vaginas. Here with us, we've got Dr. Tlaleng Mafuking, who is a medical doctor in Johannesburg, and she's also the vice chairperson of the Sexual and Reproductive Justice Coalition. Dr. Mafuking, what are the two or three most common questions that you get that you would have wanted a young woman to have known about? The first one is just your menstrual cycle. People just don't understand their menstrual cycle, they don't understand the purpose of menstruation, and when it stops, what could it mean? If someone doesn't understand the menstrual cycle, what is the implication of that? Firstly, premenstrual syndrome. We know most of us have experienced that, like sometimes in lethargy, poor sleep, cravings, hot flashes sometimes. If you don't know that that's what's happening, you won't know how to manage that. And if it's happening so frequently, you may really think there's something drastically wrong with you. So that's the first thing. And the other thing is around the menstrual cycle itself. Again, you won't know when you are ovulating. If you're worried about falling pregnant, go and find out about which contraceptive to use because using the withdrawal method is not contraceptive. So how often would you get a patient coming to you not knowing they're pregnant and they three, four months pregnant already? It actually happens a lot. Every other month, you'll always meet someone who has no idea what their menstrual cycle is or that they're even pregnant. You know, they will come for one complaint, but when you do a, a thorough medical examination, you find that out. So what are the gaps in knowledge when it comes to contraception? The different types that they are and also just how they work. Because some people know that they're on a contraceptive, but they don't know how it's working. Some people still think that when they have the breakthrough bleeding, when they're on the pill, that they're having a period. We have to explain that that's not a period. It happens because you've taken some hormone-free pills for a few days and and you have that bleed. 